This is third and five here. First drive for Washington here. Heineke, this, this is a huge fucking miss here by Heineke. He had uh, Carter wide the fuck open here. Early too. Right here, he's open. Bam, if he just hits him there. But even then, still open here. Still wide the fuck open. That's a huge pickup. It's going to be first and goal if you complete that pass. Now he throws it to him late and overthrows him. Even though it was late, he still had him if he didn't overthrow him. It's a bad throw there. Bad play by Heineke all, overall. Here we go. The very first fuck up by the Washington secondary. All right. So this is uh, after the field goal. After uh, the Saints first drive, Winston threw a pick. Uh, we have Landon Collins. I don't even know what the fuck was going on here. They broke the huddle here. These guys are standing the fuck around. They're not talking or doing anything yet. Now Landon and uh, fucking McCain are fucking communicating here. They're bullshitting. They're commu I don't know what they're communi why they're communicating this late. That Landon has deep and that Bobby's going to play over fucking over here. So he has uh, the deepest part of the zone here. And he gets to it late. He's up at the fucking 35 for some reason when he's the deepest guy. He's at the 35. Then his dumb ass is just fucking jogging here for who knows what fucking reason. Why he's why Landon Collins is the deepest guy makes no fucking sense to me. Dude should be up in the box every goddamn play. Should never be the deepest safety on the field ever. I don't care what the situation is. On his ass up here. Not way the fuck back here trying to cover people because he can't. He simply fucking can't. We'll fucking go through this whole fucking play here. We'll run it the whole way this time. I won't pause it. So right here, he just gets to a light. He just gets to a light and he's fucking jogging. He's jogging. This guy's just by him. Gone. See ya. Yes, ass too fucking slow, bitch. That's six. It's that simple. This is the nearly blocked punt uh, where uh, the Saints got a roughing the kicker because they tackled Tressway and they didn't touch the ball. So I'm not sure what Shays was looking at here, why he went in this gap instead of going in this gap. Because maybe he's just focused on that, but this guy's coming right at him clean. I guess he just doesn't see him here, and that's who comes in free here. He just slides over here, and he has a clean shot on Tress here. Thankfully, Tress is punting it to the opposite direction he's coming, so he doesn't even touch the ball, and he just gets nothing but uh, Tress here, and so the kicker, 15 yards, and an automatic first down. So during the game, I saw Jamin Davis not in the game a lot. One reason I'll show later is one of the packages they were running most of the game had either five defensive linemen on the field and only one linebacker or they were running 40 linemen and one linebacker and the rest were secondary guys. But this is one reason Jamin Davis wasn't playing right here. Watch him on this uh, touchdown run by Kamara. It is a run. Everyone's going out here. It plays out here. Jamin Davis, right here, is going to hit this hole for some reason. Don't know why he hit that hole. So Kamara has no one back here other than Bobby McCain, but his ass ain't going to fucking touch him. He's going to give him a yoop. There's no shot. If Jamin sees that and plays that, that play shouldn't go for much. But instead, he hits this hole for whatever reason. And Kamara has that hole. To score it through and score a touchdown. Uh, this is Heineke's first fucking pick of the game. I, I don't know what the fuck he's doing here. I really don't. I have no idea. I'm just going to let it roll. Curtis Samuels one-on-one -on -one out here with... So I don't even know who the fuck it is. I'm not going to look. I don't really give a fuck. And he just throws to him. It's one-on-one. -on -one. He's trying to give him just a jump ball. But with Curtis Samuels, I wouldn't really give him a jump ball. He had uh, Gibson out here for a check down. Could have had Humphreys on a little... Z route, 
but instead, what the fuck happened, you son of a bitch. Instead, he throws this ball to Curtis Samuel. It's just a bad throw. One, it's fucking just underthrown. I mean, you throw that, throw it out here. Don't throw it here. Throw it in towards the end. And it's just picked. It's easy pick. That's all it is. This is one of the main sets Washington was in on Sunday. Here they have five defensive linemen. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, corner here. Fuller's here. Cam Curl's here. Landon's all the way up in the line. Then you have Bobby McCain here. You have one, you have one linebacker here. That's one reason why uh, <laughs> Davis wasn't uh, playing a whole lot. This is the Hail Mary before fucking half. Probably the worst Hail Mary defense you ever fucking see. At least in my opinion. So everyone's going to go. No one's really that far back. You have Byron McCain and unfortunately Landon fucking Collins all the way back. Not great. Um, Landon's doing who knows what the fuck here. He's still not going backwards. He's still not running either. Now he finally decides to fucking run. And that's he's going to catch the ball right there. You got two guys for Washington in the end zone right now. So that's not great. No one's near this fucking receiver. And look at that. No one on the defense jumps. One Saint jumps. And that's it. Just no one's even near the fucking ball to defend it. Just fucking awful. To be honest with you. I might even want to check the uh, end zone cam. This might be an interesting look here. Yeah, this should definitely be an interesting look since it's coming right at us. The pressure was good on him. I'm surprised he actually got enough to get it down there, to be honest with you guys. And then one guy jumps. Everyone else is just like, what the fuck? Cam Curl's fucking pissed. Jackson has no, no idea what the fuck happened. I don't know who's the bottom there. I'm guessing, guessing that's Landon and Fuller. Not sure. It's an ugly fucking play all around. This is Heineke's second pick. The most deflating pick of the game. Just stuck, stick a fork in this one. It's over after this pick here. I'm not sure, once again, what he's fucking doing here. I get he's going to Carter here. Or trying to go to Carter here. I just don't understand. Why if you go throw it, throw it now. You throw it, throw it here. While this guy's going this way. Two, if you're going to throw this, don't under throw it. That's the worst thing you can do. Throw it out here. Instead, he throws it short, easy pick, and a game ender. This is the touchdown right after the Heineke pick. Um, it's going to be a pick route by the Saints here. This wide receiver right here is going to sit down. Let me get this so it's not so fucking blurry. Here we go. There we go. So this guy right here is going to sit down. This guy's going to loop under him. And then under this guy. And go out here. Uh, no idea what the fucking fullback's running in here. He's just there to take up space basically. I mean, he's just bulldozing in the... I can't tell who that is out there. Is it St. Juice? I can't uh, can't tell the number here. Is that Landon? That might be Landon Collins. I can't tell. I can't see the number. Still can't see the number. But he's wide open. Actually, that's St. Juice, isn't it? That's St. Juice there. But he's just wide open. Jackson didn't have a chance to get through the pick here. We're running back. He can't fight through the pick there. One, he's too far off him. Ideally, if they're playing man, I like him further up on him there. So if they do run a pick route, maybe you get an offensive pass interference call. Instead, he's so far off him. He just makes that move under him. Then he has to loop around. And then loop around this fucking guy. And it's just an easy touchdown. 
this is late in the fourth quarter, and this is the first time this happened in the whole game. Instead of Jalen Davis being on the field, you have Mayo on the motherfucking field. Here's Holcomb. Here's Mayo. Fucking awesome. Great to see your first round pick. Not be out there and have this fucking Mayo fucking dude out here and fucking stead. Great fucking success on that first rounder, eh?